Hi, meditators. What's up? I hope you guys are doing well, feeling great, enjoying your days, okay? As it should be. Doesn't matter what you have or don't have. As long as you have King Jesus, you should be enjoying your life. While I'm sitting here writing in my journal, talking to God, I love talking to him. He gives me so much peace, so much confidence, so much joy after I'm done talking to him, understanding, direction, everything. Nobody beats God's wisdom and understanding. But the funny thing about God is, and I had to get up here and share this with you, is that he don't give up a lot of information, a lot of step by step. God is so good that he can give you the bare minimal details. You just follow through with that. And you can't mess up. When you're in a relationship with God and you're doing things with God, you can't mess up. God tell you, okay, I want you to go forth with this purpose. You feel it in your heart. It won't stop. It won't leave you alone. You know you should be doing this. It's tugging on you. It's in your spirit to do it. But you don't know, you know, how to reach the goal or where to start. Just start. Whatever little piece that God gives you, start building on that piece. Acquire more information about it. And in the process of you walking in your purpose, you walking in love, God will set everything up for you. You don't have to know too much of the process. All you have to do is work diligently and do your best. So even if you feel like you didn't make a right decision with God, all things work out for your good. If he's included in your decision from beginning to the end, then you can't lose. Even if you you say, you know, I should never did it that way. I went too far or whatever it is, God can still turn it around. Just continue to have faith and continue to lean on the Lord. Walk it out. And whatever you fall short, he's going to meet you halfway. Just keep going. Keep walking. The more I talk to God and ask him for direction and help, what he gives me back is to operate in love and to work diligently in everything else he got. Just work, work, and he will put discernment in me. He will put resources and place the things that I need, but I don't have to overthink it because God knows exactly what I need. It's not too much step-by-step -step instructions. If you're looking for step-by-step -step instructions, you're not going to get that too much for God. You're going to get more of his comfort, letting you know that he is with you and how you should be acting um, which is building your character and your faith. Everything else, he got you. Everything is lined up. God is at hand. He is working on your behalf and everything is working for your good. So even if you feel like, well, what if I, you know, didn't do that right? You know, it's okay. It's okay if you don't get it right all the time. God know how to turn it around and still make it for your good. You get growth in the process and you're still going to reach your goal. Allow God to comfort you. Take peace in his comfort and his joy. I know, like I said, when I'm working on my purpose and when I'm working in my day-to-day, -day, God don't give out too many instructions. But he do line my day up for me. And he's constantly telling me in my spirit that I am with you. I am with you. And in all different forms, bottom line, he's keep letting me know that he is with me. So if God is with me, then who can be against me? Period. Period. But I had to let that out because it was just so funny to me because I'm writing in my journal. And a lot of times when God gives me direction, it's just telling me about me operating in love and forgiveness and under giving me understanding about you know why it's important for me to just get my character together and have good character and everything else is faith it's faith and it's it's, it's possible with faith all things is possible it's faith it's trusting in the lord and him just really just comforting me every day not too much steps or or instructions about what to do it's more so just him comforting me and letting me know that he's with me and that helps a lot because when i know that god is with me it motivates me 
to keep on going and know that, okay, no matter what happens, no matter what comes, no matter what goes, God is with me. I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Even if I make a mistake, even if I don't get it right, God is with me. So at the end of the day, it's going to work out for my good. Stay focused. Don't let the devil trick you out of your, you know, walking in your purpose and being productive because he will. He will. As soon as you get that mind right, as soon as you start working out, working on your business faithfully, keeping your house clean, going to work, being on time, here he comes with confusion. Give it to the Lord. The battle is not yours. Give it to the Lord. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in the dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. It's not your battle to fight. Don't be fighting with these demonic evil spirits that's in people. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. There you go.